So students, in her biography, she says, Evelyn says that music or the sound of music used to flow through each and every organ of her body. She used to feel the vibration of music through her skin, through her hair, through her cheekbones. Thus she used to perform on stage. The vibration only with the help of vibration and one small incident she shared with the readers that whenever she used to perform on the wooden surface or the wooden platform on stage she used to put off her shoes that means remove her shoes with bare feet she used to play the xylophone because through her feet and leg the vibration used to flow and it was quite clear to her the note of the instrument or note of the music. So guys, Evelyn wants to say that disability is not at all an obstacle to anybody. If you have the willpower, if you have the determination, if you have the courage or if you have that talent or passion, simultaneously passion also, nobody can stop you to reach the goal. Just Evelyn, he could show or he has already exhibited her talent to the world, to everyone, the audience, the spectators, the listeners. So here, this is the biography of Evelyn Glenn or Glennie. So spelling, uh, guys, you write down Evelyn E V E L Y N Glenny G L E N N I E Evelyn Glenny. So this is the biography or a short story of Deborah Colley based on Evelyn's life, the xylophone placed, famous xylophone placed of the world. This is the first part. And through this story, Evelyn herself wants to convey to the world, not only the readers, to the world that don't listen to anybody. Don't inculcate any pessimistic thought in your mind and soul. If you are determined, if you have the passion, if you have the courage and will power, so never stop. Sustain it, hold it, and definitely you will reach the goal. This is a very rational story of Deborah Colley based on true or true story or truth based on biography of a great personality of the world. I have now explained before you but this is only the synopsis of the story. When the school will reopen then I will teach this chapter once again line by line I will explain and whatever the questions those are given in your NCRT book apart from those questions more questions you will get I will tell you you have to answer but guys for today this much of lesson on the basis of today's lecture that means on the basis of today's lesson I am going to give you 
five questions only five questions no word meaning only five questions i am giving giving you guys note down question number 1 what is the name of the author of the story the sound of music what is the name of the author of the story the sound of music or who is the author of the story the sound of music or who is the author of the story the sound of music question 2 evelyn glenny e v e l y n evelyn g l e n n i e evelyn glenny belong to which country evelyn glenny belonged to which country question 3 when did evelyn parents when did evelyn's apostrophe s evelyn's parents realize that she was deaf when did evelyn's parents realize that she was deaf question 4 who motivated evelyn to fulfill her passion as xylophone placed who motivated evelyn to fulfill her passion as xylophone xylophone spelling guys note down x y l o p h o n e x y l o p h o n e xylophone playlist i s t question 5 why evelyn used to why evelyn used to remove her shoes on wooden platform why evelyn used to remove her shoes on wooden platform during performance during performance so students this much for the day once again i will meet you answer these questions five questions hope you have listened to my lecture today on the basis of my lecture on the basis of today's lesson you answer all these five questions and again i will meet you according to your schedule with first flight this chapter part 2 till then stay safe stay home god bless you bye bye